right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be replacing the Conversation in Cold Ones podcast for this week. Um, I just kind of want to do a standalone video reacting to the award show that just happened. Um, so we're pushing the podcast off this week, so there will be no new episode of Conversation in Cold Ones. I'm going to still title it this. I'm still going to upload it on SoundCloud and everything like that, so just so you can kind of get something from me for this week. But so let's go ahead and go over the winners. Um, that it, it just took place. I'm literally recording it. Uh, 1024. So let's talk about the big one first. So game of the year went to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, I'm, I don't agree. Obviously, in our award show, we gave Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order um, the award. I also think Gears 5 should have been in this category, and I think Gears 5 should have won over all of these games right here. Control will probably be second, then probably Outer Worlds, then Sekiro. I eh, actually put Resident Evil above Sekiro, then Sekiro. Outer uh, Smash Bros. I don't get how that's nominated. And then Control. Um, best community support, I, I do agree. Destiny 2, they're always you know, releasing new content. They're always interacting with the community. That's great. Death Stranding won best score in music. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. Uh, best narrative went to Disco Elysium. Um, think Gears 5 should have won this. Um, or Control. But I'm okay with uh, that. I, I haven't played the game, so I can't say anything bad. But I'm just glad Death Stranding didn't win it. Best fighting game. I really have no uh, say in this. Smash Bros, of course, won. I'm okay with that. Best audio. I, I completely agree. Call of Duty. Um, I think uh, Metro should have been nominated for this at least. But I'm okay with Call of Duty winning it. Best strategy game. I think Anno uh, 1800 should have won. I haven't played Fire Emblem Three Houses. But Anno was such a big game this year. Um, so it kind of sucks to see that not win. Content creator of the year, uh, Shroud. That's fair. He's not, well, he was number one on Twitch. Uh, now he's on Sh or Mixer. Um, and he's just one of the best streamers out there right now. Best art direction, Control. I'm okay with that. Uh, the game looks stunning um, despite its uh, glitches and some of its texturing and stuff like that. I'm cool with that. Best action game. Um, I think Gears 5 should have won this. I think Gears 5 provides a more complete action game. Devil May Cry 5 is definitely a very old style game. Um, it's hard to say. I, I can't really explain. It's just, it's definitely a sequel to Devil May Cry like 2 and 3. It's just very samey to me. I think after playing it, you know, I got halfway through and I was like, this is kind of getting boring. Um, the game wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say the game's bad. I just think Gears 5 had more to provide in the gameplay, especially. I think the shooting mechanics, and obviously it's not a melee-based game, but I just think overall Gears 5 was better. Um, I'm surprised Metro was even nominated here, but Metro was also a great game. Call of Duty, um, all right. Apex is all right. Astral Chain, I haven't played, so I can't comment on that one. Uh, games for Impact, I have no uh, say in this. I, I don't know any of these games besides uh, Sea of Solitude and Life is Strange, so... Best family game, um, where's Mario Party? I'm surprised that wasn't in here, but Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, okay, I think Smash Bros. should have won out of these. Um, but yeah, so best sports slash racing, uh, racing game. It's sad that Forza isn't uh, nominated in this. Obviously, they didn't release a game this year, so they can't, but I think Forza's won like past two or three years. Um, but Crash Team Racing, that's fine. I think Madden 20 should have been nominated uh, over... Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, P, uh, Pez. Um, I think it should have taken this spot. So, Best mobile game, Call of Duty Mobile. I'm okay with that. Um, Wild Hearts, I think, should have won, but Call of Duty Mobile, it's whatever. Best multiplayer game. Um, <sighs> we gave Destiny 2 Best Multiplayer because uh, you can do raids and stuff like that together. I think Destiny 2 should have at least been nominated over Tetris 99. Um, but do I think Apex Legends is better in Call of Duty? No. Do I think Apex is better in Borderlands 3? No. Do I think Apex is better than The Division 2? Maybe. There's an argument for both. So, uh, definitely I would go with, uh, in this, I'd probably go Call of Duty or Borderlands. Best ongoing, Destiny 2 should have won this hands down. Fortnite, I get Fortnite. <sighs> Fortnite in the past year hasn't reinvented itself enough to give it best ongoing game. They just add these 
new events that people will hop in for one day and they're interesting for the first 30 minutes and then nobody plays the game afterwards. They've had constant issues with balancing and constant community backlash for what they're doing. So I don't think it deserves best ongoing game. Something like Destiny 2, which has provided two great DLCs for their uh, their groups um, and their community and they didn't really get acknowledged here. Final Fantasy 15, that's also a great one. Apex Legends uh, just added a new map. They're adding new characters. They're doing great. And then Rainbow Six Siege has been doing it better than all of these games besides Destiny 2 for the past few years. So I don't think Fortnite should have won at all. Best VR game, uh, Beat Saber. That's fine. No Man's Sky, I think, was also pretty good. Best performance, um, I don't think Mads Mikkelsen was uh, deserving of winning. I think Laura Bailey should have won. Um, and I think second, probably Ashley Birch. Um, for the Outer Worlds. Player's Voice, um, this is what they voted as the best game. I do think Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order should have won. Fire Emblem is not better than Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm telling you that right now. Um, these fresh indie games, I, I don't know. Um, I know Disco Elysium won earlier. So I think My Friend, My Friend Pedro was a fun game. Um, and Outer Wilds, I heard, was fantastic. But uh, we all know Untitled Goose Game should have won. Best role-playing game, um, once again, Disco Elysium won. I think uh, Monster Hunter World should have won, um, or the Iceborne DLC, I guess. And then the Outer Worlds, um, I think, would have been second. You can make a case for it being number one, but the Outer Worlds is better than Disco Elysium, from what I see of Disco Elysium. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, obviously would finish last on that. And then Final Fantasy 15, I just haven't played it, so I can't really uh, talk about it. Best independent game, obviously, uh, Disco Elysium won again. I think Untitled Goose Game should have won. Best game direction, I'm okay with Death Stranding winning this. Obviously, it's a very interesting idea and uh, a direction towards, I guess, a trilogy or a saga, whatever uh, Hideo Kojima is working on with this, or if it's just kind of a one-off. Um, I think Control finishes second, and I think Resident Evil is after that. Best action adventure game, um, I think Borderlands should have won out of this group, and then probably Resident Evil, then Control, then Sekiro. I don't think Sekiro is that great of a game. Um, it is great if you're looking for something challenging. I think the game is stunning in different ways than other games, but I just think the core gameplay loop and just overall, it's not that big of a package as people think. Um, and I, I do think something like a Borderlands 3 is more enjoyable than Sekiro. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. But I do think Borderlands 3 and Control were better. And even Resident Evil 2 were better. Just better gameplay loops. Best esports game, League of Legends. I didn't expect anything else. I think CSGO probably would have finished second. Um, Call of Duty should have been on here. But, you know, Call of Duty had a down year last year. Um, I don't care about the uh, esports coach, I, I, I guess. Um, Team Liquid probably should have won that. Best esports event. I, once again, I didn't watch any of these besides Fortnite World Cup. So... Well, I watch Overwatch uh, League Finals, but that was all right. I think Rocket League should have been uh, put in there. Um, Golden Boy should not have won. Thank God he didn't. Best esports team. I think uh, Cloud9 should have won probably for Rocket League. Um, or FaZe Clan for, uh, I, I guess, all their teams, whether it was Call of Duty, CSGO, all of that stuff. Best esports player. I knew Booga was going to win as soon as I saw this. Um, he obviously won the, the biggest tournament of the year. Um, but I do think Simple should have won uh, for CSGO. And uh, I guess we'll go down to the announcements. Um, obviously, Reggie was there from Nintendo. They announced a new fucking Xbox. I did not expect this at all. Um, it's literally a box. And I'm quite shocked that they announced this. The controller looks overall the same. But this is called the Xbox Series X. That is the new system. Uh, disk drive, obviously the eject button, power button. Um, it looks like a box. I like the design. It's more of a PC kind of tower shape. Um, so we'll see. Next year it comes out. They showed uh, Hellblade uh, Snow's Saga, which is the second game in Hellblade's, I guess, trilogy that they're working on. So, hey, that game was great. Um, this is just more of uh, of the Xbox stuff. They showed a little bit of Master Chief. Let me click it. Uh, this is all in engine apparently, but yeah, here's uh, so now is Saga, obviously continuing that series, which we knew they were gonna do after the very uh, good feedback from it. <laughs> Xbox sucks, but yeah.
But yeah, um, also uh, Mortal Kombat announced. The Joker's coming to uh, Mortal Kombat, which is nice. Uh, Godfall was announced, which was PlayStation 5's first, I guess, announced game. And then they showed uh, Ghost of Tsushima um, coming out in summer of 2020. It looked interesting. It did. Um, and uh, we'll wait to see from that. But I believe that's about it. They talked about some Fortnite stuff and... Cyberpunk was there with behind the music and kind of all of their stuff. But after that, really, really nothing else. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of uh, the Game Awards. Oh, Green Day performed as well. So I don't, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys thought. I think overall, this is a, this was a all right year um, for the Game Awards. There was nothing cringy, really. Uh, it was three hours long. Um, I think a lot of the games that were announced, obviously it's, it's the filler year before next, uh, generation. So I don't know why Microsoft would show their console here. I think just to get the word out and show people, Hey, this is what we're working on. But I thought they were just going to wait till E3. Once again, guys, thank you guys for watching the conversation and cold ones podcast. And that's another episode for us guys. Thank you for listening. Please make sure to um, comment, subscribe, follow, like, whatever. If you're on uh, SoundCloud, it's follow, like. If you're on Spotify, you just add to your playlist, like, follow, whatever. iTunes, please leave us a review. And on YouTube, please like, comment, and share, and then subscribe to my channel, eventually Jared's channel, when that comes out. And if you guys want to follow us on social media, our uh, Twitter handles will be linked in the description. All right, guys. Thank you for listening.